Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to another UFC 3 career mode video. This is the road to another rival match. You guys see that dude right there at the bottom, Travis Brown. He up next. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Now, before we fight Travis Brown, I need to let you guys know a little bit of the backstory. I did have to go through another opponent before reaching that rival fight. And I can't lie, man, this dude cut me in the first round of our fight, got me bleeding, man. Kind of scared me because I was giving this guy the business. I was literally hitting him with the, some of the best shots you have ever seen from a striker. But for whatever reason, man, this dude was hitting me with some nice shots, nice ones and twos, nice hooks, and he got me cut. Now, when I see red, I go in for the kill. So, in the second round, man, about a minute and 45 seconds left, I decided to turn things up, man. Yes, we turning the volume all the way up on this dude, man. I got his head ringing. He can't hear anything going on in the octagon because his ears are literally about to ring. Check out that nice shot to the head man literally like i said his ears are ringing he couldn't even hear his corner say hey hey throw in the towel wait don't kill him wait nah bro you're dead you you cut me the king the beast you cut me you think you're gonna get out this octagon safely you got, you got the game messed up bro so we came out with the w against this dude man with a nice head kick finish it it by punches on the ground i always like finishing fights with punches on the ground because sometimes those animations are kind of taken away from you man you hit a guy with a nice shot and that you know sometimes that's really it it's over the fight is over they don't let you finish the fight like they do right here maybe it's more when you up on the cage i don't know but it was a nice finish to this fight man a nice way to finish it look all that blood look i'm wiping it off it don't matter to me watch me lick it watch me lick it Ew. All right, guys, so today we are about to fight Travis Brown. I am totally outmatched on all counts, but I got that stamina on my side. I got that hand speed on my side. Let's see if that can save me here, man. This dude is already talking trash, talking about he's going to be the king. I never take well from threats, man, never. If you threaten me, you best believe you ain't going to finish the fight, man. You best believe that, but I did everything I had to do. I did all the social media, and I was not able to make my fitness level for this week. Now, I'm telling you guys, man, they're giving me shorter and shorter weeks to prepare for some of these fights, and I'm not complaining. I'm not making no excuses. I'm undefeated. So if you guys are liking that undefeated wave, man, spam undefeated in the chat right now. The Beastful King is ready to go up against this dude, man. Let's get into it. To become a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz, Jones had Cormier, and Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest, or give up bragging rights once and for all. And I can attest to this, man. This is the boiling point, guys. I am so stoked, man. I just want to get this fight over with. I want to step into that 15 spot man i want to be a contender that's what i'm here in the ufc for i want to be a champion so if you guys are with me man on this champion run definitely throw a like at this video man let everybody know man let all the people know that i'm here i'm here to solidify this this is what i'm here for man look at that 11 fights by ko you hear me 11 of them things not 10 11 <laughs> but i'm on my way inside the octagon man let's go ahead and pass it over to bruce buffer man but before we do that let me show you man this 40 year old virgin who this boy think he is i bet you he ain't never hit nothing in his life he probably got a small one you know what i'm talking about ha <laughs> ha Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. 
This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Carter. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 22 wins, eight losses, and one draw. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Travis Brown! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. All right, let's get into this fight, man. I am ready. All right, I don't dap it up with nobody, man. I'm not putting my fist out there for none of y'all. All right, now, I can notice by this dude's stance already that he's definitely a striker as he hits me with that one-two right there. Now, I'm not going to lie. I would love to get his posture and his stance. That looks amazing, man. You got your hands up. Your feet are moving pretty good. He kind of has, like, that Conor McGregor-type stance, but, like, his hands are up. So, it looks pretty nice. Now, I hit him with a nice little one-two right there. Just setting the tone, man. I don't want to waste too much stamina because I am the odd man out. I did not train to my peak level. So, you know, I have a lot more to fight for here. Now, I'm trying to keep the distance. Now, I'm not sure that that's going to work for too long because I already know that this dude is going to get very... Oh, my God. He's getting aggressive already. He hit me with one hook. Oh. But what I can tell you guys is, man, you got to mix it up. You got to go high low because I'm telling you, if you just try to head hunt every time on the computer, they're going to bury you, man. So I hit this dude with a nice hook, but it barely did anything. All it did was stun him. It didn't even put him in a health event. And he has a lot in his arsenal as he's throwing kicks to the face, kicks to the legs, punches to the body, uppercuts. Oh, man, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. But I got my dreads. That's what I got. I, I know I got my dreads. And he is checking almost every kick and giving me kicks back. I don't know what to do. But the Superman punch lands. Doesn't do anything. I'm trying to give this dude head damage. I'm chasing him down right now. I'm backing him up to the octagon cage. And uh oh, he threw that nice little uppercut through my defense. Uh oh, oh snap. He's getting, he's getting a little faster. Hold up. There we go. A nice little hook. All right. So he's still backing up. Oh, he's, he's moving forward. Hold up. You cannot let this dude advance, man. I can tell already with his striking ability. You oh, oh, hold on. We might have something here. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm touching him up. I'm, I'm just putting a little bit of makeup on him. That's all. I hope I got that red makeup on me. <laughs> oh, nice body punches, man. Look at this dude, man. I'm trying to hit him with everything, guys. It looks like I'm hitting him with the kitchen sink, but I'm not even hitting him with the wash rag right now, bro. Yeah, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. When your mom tell you, hey, yo, come wash these dishes. Hey, mom, where the rag at? Boy, if you don't go get a rag out that cupboard. Hey, listen, man, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm off topic, but the body shot, though, guys. The body shot is what it's all about, man. The jab is insane. Still checking my kicks. I don't know what to do here, guys. I don't know what to do. The double jab. Oh, my God, he's slipping my punches at this point. It's getting ugly, man. Do you guys think I'm going to win this fight, man? Spam W or L in the chat if you think I can win this fight, man. I'm trying my best, but his head damage is just not inflicting anything. Oh, my God, the uppercut, the hook, and oh, my God, another leg kick. Hold up, but his head damage is getting there, man. We got 18 seconds left in this round. Oh, my God, my rib. Mm, my kidneys. Oh, my God, he hit me in my face again. I'm thinking that the Dreads is adding a little bit of padding to these punches, man. I should have been knocked out, guys. But I told you, man, I gave him that makeup. I gave him, uh, what's that What's that brand that these chicks be out here wearing? Uh, Mac or something like that. Yeah, I gave him that red makeup, man. I put lipstick right under his cheek, you know what I'm saying? It's gave him a little touch-up, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? So he, could, he can be embedded by the lights, you know. <laughs> But it's crazy how they're showing my leg kicks as powerful shots. That must mean that I won the round because usually they show whoever won the round in their replay. So this guy was hitting me with a lot of different shots, but I think I pulled that one out. Now, uh, crack fiend right there. What's up? What's going on, girl? How you doing? See you after the fight, huh? Yeah. All right, but back to the fight, guys. Now, let's see if we can get Travis Brown out of his element here, man. Now, he's still got that crazy stance, man, but he's backing up. So there must be something wrong, man. So I believe that cut really is teaching this dude a lesson here by not stepping in the pocket with me. Now, I'm doing a pretty good job at blocking right now. 
a heck of an uppercut. Now the head damage is almost there, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do what I need to do to solidify this fight. Now I know a lot of people are probably thinking, Apa, why would you take this to the ground? You were doing so good standing up. To be honest, guys, if you look at the stamina bar, my stamina has been depleting so much more than him but this dude was throwing so many shots and his stamina went nowhere so i have to take the fight to the ground i have to expose that cut under his cheek in order to give him more and more head damage and give myself a better chance of winning now if you guys notice i am hitting him with what i believe is the kitchen sink and it is not affecting him i can't even get a dry cloth reaction here this dude is getting hit with everything and it's doing nothing. His head damage is not moving. But remember, he's still a bloody mess. He's still cut. You guys can see all the blood on the mat right now. So I believe that this head damage that I am inflicting is ultimately going to help me either whether it's by, you know, unanimous decision or hopefully a knockout, man. I still believe I can do it. Hopefully people who spammed inside the comment section of W, if you spam the L in the chat, I feel for you, brother. I, I really do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still in control on the top mount. Now, I need to actually take more care, better care of my stamina. So, I'm just going to go ahead and sit there for a moment. Now, I'm hitting him with everything, guys. Look at this, man. His head damage is not moving. Hitting him with everything. Trying to break his jaw, and it's not working literally he's throwing shots from the bottom and, and is giving me more head damage than i'm giving him like it, it just doesn't make sense now this was his biggest mistake guys why would you give me your back why <laughs> why would you do that give me that back flat let me get a little cheap shot in here now he turns back over but we're in half guard so now i have to get back on top mount and it doesn't work so now we're standing up he's bleeding he throws a nice body kick, gets it to land. Oh, he shouldn't have threw that one. I was already ready for it. Hold on. He's shaking up. He's backing up. Boom. Oh, my God. The fight is over. I did it. One punch ended it all. I didn't even have to end that punches, man. I, I just lunged in with everything I had, guys. I waited till my stamina came back. And I ran up with him like, hey, yo, where my money at, fam? Check yourself, fool. Check this out. Check this out. Boom. Nice little. I don't even know what that is. Like, that's like a straight left. But it's crazy because my actual stance was changed. I wasn't fighting in my natural stance. So when I hit him with that, that's like hitting him with a powerful jab for real. I mean, I know it's a cross and a, like kind of a lead cross, but... That, that was a pretty good shot right there, man. No cuts. No real damage to me. He's definitely not hitting the club after this. I'm going to the strip club. I heard Mayweather and them is going to get it popping. You know, I'm about to hop on this jet, go out Vegas. You know how the game go, man. But I hope you guys like that fight. I can't believe I won that, man. This dude was, he outdid me. He literally outdid me in the gym, guys. He was more focused. He had better movesets, he had better power, better striking, better grappling. Uh, uh, only thing I had was, what, stamina? He was even more tougher than me. But, hey, I guess that ground game works, man. I guess that ground and pound really works. Look at that, man. Total control on the ground. Three minutes and 15 seconds, man. Once you get in that top mount, man, and you posture up, it's not many people that can stick with you, man. So if you're a striker, man, and you know that you can't mess with dudes standing up, try switching things up, take it to the ground for a little bit. As many shots as you can land is always good shots, man. Always, t oh my God, my longevity. It's like my longevity is disappearing. But I made 45,000 for that fight, man. But like I was saying, guys, if you are not optimal at striking and standing up and you know that a fighter is better than you standing up, you got to switch things up. That's all I'm saying. Check this out, man. End of story. Carter ends Brown rivalry with a spectacular knockout. I knocked his head all the way back, yo. Did y'all, yo, I think he got like a, a cage tattoo on his head now. Like when he fell back, his whole head scraped that whole cage. He got to get it tatted now, yo. <laughs> now check out Dana White showing me love on social media, man, with the gift. That's what I'm talking about, man. Look at that. Laying that dude out, yo. 
laying him out, man. That's what, that's what it's all about, man. It's all about making sure people notice me in the UFC, making sure that people are giving me a shot, and we have earned another contract. I am finally a contender in the UFC. I get thirty-five thousand per fight, and I get forty thousand more if I win said fight. And what they want me to do is they want me to break into the top five. So I get a five fight contract. I gotta make it to top five, and you know I'm signing that thing. Where else I'm gonna go? Now this right here is a, a, a crazy development. They want me to go up against Alistar Overeem. Oh. It's about to go down. Hey, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. Bye. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.